As part of getting started with Mosier, let's take our first measurement. We'll select the close shape measurement type to capture the square footage of this area, perimeter and any elevation changes around the grass area. Before we start, let's clear away any debris from any potentially difficult placement areas. It's important to choose a memorable starting point since we'll need to start and finish at the same point. We'll begin here in this corner. It's memorable so we can return to it easily. Open the Mosier app and tap the plus icon to start a new measurement. Once tapped, you'll see the measurement type options. We're selecting closed shape, so we tap on that. The screen will show waiting to connect. To turn on the Mosier device, raise vertically, then gently rotate 180 degrees back and forth until the LED starts to flash blue. When the LED turns red, the device is ready to be placed at your starting point. Ensure you place it exactly where you want to begin measuring, as that first point is crucial. Once the device remains still, the LED will turn from red to green, confirming that it's captured your first point. See how we've aligned the reference point directly into the corner. We hold the stick lightly between our thumb and two fingers, allowing for a relaxed yet controlled grip. This light hold enables us to walk quickly and energetically and avoids the stick from swinging. Instead of completing the measurement in one go, we'll divide it into equal parts. As we walk, aim to pause while the timer bar is in the green zone and make sure to stop no later than the end of the amber zone. When ready, pause by placing the stick down gently but quickly, aligning it with the path's edge. Wait for the LED to change from red to green, confirming the measurement is captured. Continuing to the end of this straight run, align the stick directly into the corner. Once the stick is stationary, the LED will transition from red to green. Remember, you can stop and pause as often as needed. We now have a curved shape ahead of us. For this section, we have two options, arc or trace line path types. We'll choose trace line to demonstrate how it works since our path is clear. Trace line measures and draws based on the movement of the Mosier device allowing us to capture the exact path along the edges and contours of the curve. After pausing, the app stays in trace line path until we change it. We'll walk quickly, tracing all the way to the next corner. Remember to use pause points to look ahead and decide on your path type. We'll switch back to straight line path and continue walking, dividing this measurement into two fairly equal segments. Walk quickly, rotate smoothly and place the stick down precisely at each measurement point. We continue placing and capturing straight line measurements. When placing the stick on leaves or grass, we can rest it against the V of our hand to help keep it still. We'll pause here because there's another curved area ahead. For this section, we'll use the arc path type since we can't trace directly through the shrubs. To capture an arc measurement, we need at least three points, the start, the midpoint, and the end of the arc. We can easily navigate around obstacles like shrubs to reach the midpoint. Notice how the screen initially shows a straight line, but after capturing the end of the arc, it displays the best fit arc measurement. We now switch back to the straight line path and continue walking at a fast, energetic pace. Pause often and align the front of the stick's housing with the edge of the path. Finally, we reach our last corner and switch back to arc path to navigate around these benches. After capturing the third point, the app will complete the arc and we'll be back at the starting point. To finish the measurement, tap the red stop icon. Now, let's save this measurement. Tap on file, add a project folder, give it a name, and then save the file to your project folder. The app will display the perimeter which is 188.81 meters. The total area is 2072.5 square meters and a start finish error of 0.1%. To switch units, tap the cog in the top right corner, select measuring units and change to imperial. By tapping the back arrow, you'll see that the perimeter is 619.5 feet and the area is 22,308.1 square feet. To export this measurement, simply tap on File, then Export, and choose a format such as PDF, DWG, or DXF. And that's it! 
we successfully captured the area and perimeter of the entire space. Before using Mosure on your projects, take some time to practice a few measurements to master the technique and become comfortable using your Mosure device and stick.